Welcome to ZCast, everyone. I'm Zia Scaravallo from ZK Research, and I'm here at the Broadcom stand at Mobile World Congress 2025. I'm Asanjay Upal, uh, GM of the Velo by Broadcom uh, group within uh, Broadcom. Uh, Sanjay, how are you doing? Doing well. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot of energy at the show this year. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's been a while since we caught up. So we're here yep. at MWC. Um, big service provider show. Yep. Uh, right now, obviously, there are a lot of service providers and partners of yours. Um, how are you finding the show? What's the, the mood of the show, you think? I think the mood of the show, there's a lot of energy, but I think there's also somewhat of an undercurrent of desperation. Yeah. <laughs> Which is... That's a good way yeah. to describe it, actually. <laughs> yeah. How are they going to get themselves out of the rut that they're in today? Yeah. I, I think there's a lot of, uh, I would say, cautious optimism. Is I think... Uh, the, the service providers are in a hole, right? There are a lot of them, you know, see the the revenue lines going down, but they look at AI, you know, as a way out of this, right? So, yeah. Absolutely. I think that, you know, the last time when there was a shift in the application space was when SaaS came in, yeah. you know, 20 years ago or so, and they rolled out some new services, like sd -Band was a service that they rolled out, and, you know, with us, they became quite successful. But as you are rightly pointing out, AI, especially generative AI applications that are run across the entire network, this is going to be a big opportunity for service providers if they can orient themselves to take advantage of this shift. Yeah, and I can't tell you how many service providers I've talked to here that have said to me, we miss cloud, we're not going to miss AI, yeah. right? So, yeah, and so with that being said, what do you think the service provider opportunity is with AI? Yeah, so I think almost everyone is focused on AI for networking. How can AI improve cost efficiency? Yeah. How can AI improve customer service? I think the real focus should be, you know, what can we do? What can the network do for AI? And specifically for generative AI applications? Because this new class of applications that's coming in, while it's, a fa it's at a fairly early stage, these applications behave completely differently from the applications that we're used to. The first way they behave differently is there's a lot more upstream traffic. Like this pair of glasses, these are the Meta Ray-Ban glasses. If I put them on, they send almost 100 times more traffic upstream than downstream. That's amazing. Right? Yeah. Completely different from what we are used to. They can do live translation today. You can do possibly facial recognition tomorrow. Plus, you look and smart with them on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My son says I look like a bug. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. so putting that aside, much more upstream, much more peer-to-peer -peer interaction across the entire network because of agents. So, of course, you walk around the show and you, know, you hear agentic AI. Yeah. But the agentic AI they're talking about here is the agentic AI that they use inside the network. I'm referring to what businesses, enterprises are going to be building, retail, healthcare, manufacturing, and then how does the service provider participate in supporting these agents that are running across the entire network? That's the big opportunity for them. All right. Now, uh, at the show, you you launched something called VeloSky. Yep. Right? And uh, just want to give an update on what that is, how it works. Yeah. So VeloSky is a convergent solution. Now, convergence here is technological convergence, not bill convergence. So you can converge <laughs> you can converge your 5G, your satellite, your fiber, your DSL into one network layer. And now that network layer is built on the basis of individual applications. So you can say that for my generative AI application, this one that is doing merchandising, please give me a converged network and uh, you, you want this type of quality of service and that security. But for this other application that is simply mail, I don't need any convergence. So it's an app layer recognition and it's convergence that the telco can provide on the basis of this recognition, on the basis of channel estimation, and supporting the right level of security and performance. Yeah. And that's really what VeloSky is, a convergence yeah. platform. And uh, do you have any operators using it today? Well, two operators actually participated in our press release. One was Vodafone, the other one was Metel. We have a number of others that are in trials and previews right now. So hopefully the next time we talk, yeah. you know, we'll already have some signed up and, and uh, launch the, their own service. Because it's all about the telcos launching a service built with VeloSky. Yeah, and late last year you announced VeloRain. Yeah. Right, how's that been going? VeloRain's been going fantastic. We had our first release of VeloRain at the end of January. Now, VeloRain is not a product, it's an architecture. So, RAIN stands for Robust AI and Networking. Network, yeah. It's the architecture that will support things like agentic AI. So, really, I'm, I'm saying that VeloRain is going to be your overlay network for agentic AI. That's the direction that we're going towards with VeloRain. And is there a VeloRain plus Velo Sky story? Yeah, so S Sky runs on top of Rain. Velo Cloud runs on top of Velo Rain. Velo Cloud Sassy runs on top of Velo Rain. Okay. It's all built on this Velo Rain layer. All right, Velo Rain, uh, 
Rain in the sky to you, I suppose. Yeah, there like we that. go. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, without giving away too much in the way of roadmap, what's next for you guys? So I think that's that's a lot. You know, yeah. with the velo rain sky and everything. There's there's fair yeah, but your R and T R and D team still doing something. They right? are doing. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, watch this space for the next thing, which is Velo Brain. Brain, okay. Now, what Velo Brain is, just think of uh, getting a Velo Cloud Edge, one of the bigger edges, but you get a network engineer shipped along with the edge. Okay. And the network engineer is the brain of the system, and the network engineer is looking at all of the traffic, the logs that are going through, and can independently assess what is happening to the So network. that's the concept of moving away from co-pilots to co-workers. Correct. Okay. Absolutely right. All right. Because it's uh, the Velo brain is running inside the box. All right. So we've got more opportunity for service fighters, AI is transformational, Velo Sky, Velo Rain, and coming soon, Velo Brain. Velo Brain. Is that good? That wraps it up. All right. <laughs> all right. So anything else you want to add? Sorry? Anything else you want to add? No, no, no. That's it. That's okay. it. Always great to see you, Zayas. Yeah, no, it's always good to have you on, Sanjay. So on behalf of Sanjay Upal from Broadcom, um, Zia Scaravala from ZK Regents, and thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like button, and also uh, give us a subscribe too. So, on, uh, uh, so thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time in the next episode of ZCast.